about the day y'all got married? The day we got married, uh, it was against both of our parents' wills. But we decided we were going to get married anyway. So she proposed, I mean, uh, we decided <laughs> to go to Jeffersonville to get married, which is across the river from Louisville. And uh, we went downtown where Paul Bowman was working as a used car salesman, as a used car lot. Uh, we kidnapped him. He didn't know where he was going. He thought we were taking him out to lunch. But we went straight to Louisville and crossed the river and uh, went along the main drag in Jeffersonville. And there were several marriage parlors there. And we stopped at one of them that was named Stimler's, Stimler's Marriage Parlor. And we went in, and the Justice of the Peace, or whoever the guy is that marries people, was laying there on the couch asleep with nothing but boxer shorts on, underwear. And uh, I think he gave us, or provided a, an escort to take us back across the river to Louisville to get our blood tests. And then back to the marriage parlor. That, that took about two hours. Away. You did a blood test? I, yeah. I just about back down. Yeah. And uh, he married us, and Paul Bowen was one of the witnesses. And another couple that was there to get married was the other witnesses, and they have all signed our marriage certificate. And uh, Their name was Nagel. Nagel, and, and we were their witnesses, and they were our witnesses. And then we had to hurry back. This was on a Thursday, and I had a National Guard drill at 7 o'clock that evening. I had to get home and get my uniform on, which takes forever, it seems like, and get to drill. I barely got to drill on time, and I was, for some reason that night, it was a very long drill. And uh, uh, it, it lasted almost till midnight, as I remember. And when I got home, I was so damn tired, I went straight to sleep. You were making all that up. Yeah, let's hear her say it. That is not true. <laughs> well, he picked me up from work when he... Where'd you work? I got off work, and I, I don't know why I think I took off at noon. I worked at St. Joe Hospital in the records department. And like you said, we went and got Paul and, and went up there, and that's true. And I remember crossing my legs and having him hit my knee with a little hammer to see if I guess if I had syphilis or something I don't know because my reflexes my reflexes were good I don't know why they crack your knee to see if your foot bounces I but think it's gone to rip whatever I don't know and the, the guy was in his underwear it was the hottest day of the year I think it was 101 degrees in the shade that day they said and when we came back to town, uh, and he had to let me out on the corner of, I think it was... Main and Jefferson. Main and Jefferson. And I had to walk home because he was late getting there. All the way to 2nd Street. Uh, up to 2nd Street. Two and, blocks. Well, it's a long way. <laughs> it was longer today than okay. it did then. And, yeah, that is right. And then that night after he got off of uh, work, we drove somewhere out in Chevy Chase and saw Terry Turner and some people and told them <laughs> we got married. Yes, we did. Well, maybe that's why I 